Welcome back to GearWire.com. My name is Bill Holland, and you are looking at the King W plugin from Low Coders and Bit Plant. This allows you to recreate the Studio One sounds of like old King Tubby records. Notice I have delay control with time, feedback, and degradation. Time allows me to control the time of the delay. Feedback controls how long it delays. For example, if I bring it back down here, it means there'll be a shorter decay time. So, for example, I have a dry wet envelope open here. Feedback down, now bring the feedback up. Now my degradation tool decides how long that signal stays clean. So for example, if I keep it at zero, it'll be a clean delay throughout. However, if I raise it, it's going to almost put like a filter over it as it goes further on. And so you'll hear the signal get quieter and quieter as your delay goes on, kind of like an actual echo would in real life. Now you can set a filter as well. They have a 12 decibel octave filter and a 24 octave decibel filter. So if I take my frequency down, here it's filtering my signal down. You can also set the bandwidth for this. You can open the frequency up and I get a much brighter, cleaner delay. Output control allows me to control how loud the delay is coming off of the audio signal. So for example, right here I'm at zero, it's going to be the same level as your audio signal. If you take it down, it's going to be quieter. If I take it up, it'll be it'll raise in volume as um, my dry wet signal is opened up in the mix control. But for now, I want it a little bit below zero. I don't want my delay signal being louder than my dry signal. And here I can control the amount of pan from left to right and right to left. Well, that was the King W plugin from Low Coders and Bit Plant. For now, this is GearWire.com, and my name is Bill Holland.